Eric Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. We're going to be doing a first impressions of this device, go over some of the specs, and I've been using it for about two days already, and I'm going to give my, some of my thoughts. This is not the full review, this is just a first impressions. Right now you're seeing the, uh, the uh, cover screen footage taken at 4K. 60 frames per second now you can only do 4k when it's in 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 which is this vertical video if you do it any other way it's going to dumb it down to 1080p but that's quite all right this is still cool that you can use the cover screen to take selfie videos so let's jump down into it uh first impression samsung galaxy z flip 5 let's go all right, so it has been two days that I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. And let me tell you guys, I am impressed with this little piece of hardware. This thing is absolutely gorgeous and it feels like a premium, excellent smartphone. And I love this thing. So I'm going to go on over some things and do my little first impressions of the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Got some notes down here. So first and foremost if you don't want to miss out on videos here on Sigari Tech about this device be sure you subscribe and click that bell icon that way you get notified on future videos of this comparing to other videos if you want to see that as well so first and foremost talk about the design of this thing I've never used a flip device other than the Motorola uh, Razr 5G this is my first flip device as you can see it is not really quite open flat a little bit of angle right there but still First flip device here, and I have to say this is a beautiful piece of hardware. Samsung really knocked it out of the park. I definitely prefer this matte finish frame with this exclusive gray color. Looks and feels absolutely badass. This thing looks so stealth compared to the super shiny frame that you would get on the other colors. This thing just looks clean and it just looks really nice. This is beautiful. A very beautiful phone as you can see there is a little bit of a gap in there so it is not exactly completely gapless but it's pretty much flatter than it was last year when it comes down to that gap and this hinge is super smooth as well when it comes down to opening and closing it it's got a great range of motion to where you could pretty much have this phone any way you want it especially when taking video and you know using this as a tripod or even setting it up and watching videos like this you can use that. It's got a really nice range of motion before it actually shuts closed and you know opens up. It's got a really nice range of motion and it feels good. It doesn't really snap open more than it does uh, when it snaps shut, but it still feels really smooth. And like I said, this is my first experience, so I don't know how these things are supposed to feel. All I know is that it feels really, really good. Uh, one thing I could maybe do about is this inner screen is very reflective and it picks up fingerprints like crazy and I do not like this crease it is a very noticeable crease that you could see on there and that you could feel and maybe I'll just have to get used to it and uh, like I said never used one of these before but that's one thing that's a little annoying is that crease going on over to the inner display which is absolutely fantastic I do wish that it was more uh, had more functionality when it comes down to being able to you know interact with it more like a lot of these things you can't really use or interact with them when you click on them so uh, that's kind of misfortune and as far as everything else they are pretty much just widgets on here that you can interact with them but not too much and if you were to download good lock it gives you the opportunity to actually open up apps on here which is fantastic but it just requires that extra little step to go on there to actually activate all these apps that you want to be used on there but once you do you can pretty much use any app that you want on this outer display and good luck is definitely a godsend when it comes down to this hopefully samsung will implement a software update to actually make this to where it's actually on the phone and to where you could do it automatically without using good luck but for right now good luck is a good uh, way to sort of you know do that yourself and open up different apps on here that we can have more functionality on here you swipe on over to your left you get your your notifications and then you swipe down you get your uh, quick panel with your brightness slider so that's really good and really nice and functional but it's just not as functional as maybe the motorola razor would be but still it's a very nice step in the right direction for samsung when it comes down to that outer display and the inner display like i said fantastic 120 hertz it's a 6.7 inch 
foldable dynamic AMOLED, supports HDR10+, 1080 by 2640, has a pixel density of 425. You do get an always on display, so that's fantastic. Cover display is going to be a super AMOLED 3.4 inches, 720 by 748. And both of these, uh, the front and the back is covered by Carilla Glass Victus 2. And you get a PPI of, two, of 306 on this outer display. And it looks really good too. I find myself watching videos, you know, on YouTube, just propping my phone up like this and watching some videos on this outer display. I know it's crazy, it's small, but it actually works for me. And hey, it works for me, so I like doing that. So displays on here, really good. Samsung, of course, never fails when it comes down to their displays on the outer display and on this inner display, which has been fan freaking tastic. And like I said, as far as functionality goes, we need more functionality on that outer display. Going on over to the keyboard, uh, as far as using Gboard, I love using Gboard, but when you're on this outer display and you want to uh, sort of respond to a text message or something, you have to use Samsung's keyboard, which is kind of a bummer. Hopefully there's a software update later on that lets you use Gboard on this outer display. I don't mind Samsung keyboard, it's just I prefer Gboard more. And hopefully that that's one gripe is not being able to use the keyboard of your choice on this outer screen you're just limited to samsung's keyboard not a deal breaker i just thought i would mention that to you guys so cameras on here freaking fantastic a lot better than i thought they would be rear cameras you get two mag you get two cameras on the back you get a 12 megapixel main sensor and you get a 12 megapixel ultra wide front facing camera is a 10 megapixel camera you can record all the way up to 4k 60 on the rear and 4k 30 frames per second on the front but who's going to be using this selfie display it's all about this feature right here which is using your outer display to record video you swipe on over you can do portrait you can do photo video now the only gripe about this is you can only do 4k 60 in this format right here which is going to be your vertical format if you go into if you were to go into settings and change this to 16 by 9, it's going to dumb it down to full HD 60 frames per second. So hopefully, again, a software update will fix that. That way you could actually have better resolution when using this. But the fact that you could take selfies on here using this cover display and actually get some good quality selfies rather than just opening it up and using this camera, that is fantastic and a really nice game changer when it comes down to that. This thing is really good takes really good photos it's all about that chipset the snapdragon hn2 for galaxy is a beast when it comes down to photos and image processing so despite being the same cameras as last year these cameras have improved they're almost as good as my galaxy s23 ultra they are very good and solid cameras you got so many different options when it comes down to recording video if you were to open it up if you're to open it up, you got so many different options for video. You could use this as a handheld, which I really do like that you could use this to just record video and have a nice stable, you know, way of holding your device. That is really cool that you could record video like this. If you want to uh, activate the outer display, that way people could see what you're what you're recording and give you some hints on whether or not to go up or high or whatever. You have that option too. To do that with video and photos so that's really nice and these cameras are very good you can use this as a tripod front facing camera you can do the same thing use that as a tripod record yourself or just you know set this up somewhere walk away and just record yourself that's really nice these cameras have been killer on here very impressed with the camera system of this despite only having two cameras on the back they are very good so do not be discouraged by the cameras they are well good enough for anybody performance on here snapdragon hn2 for samsung slightly overclocked chipset that samsung is using on here performance has been fantastic eight gigabytes of ram 520 512 gigabytes of internal storage no micro sd card which is sad but hey 512 is more than enough for anybody to have on a device and the eight gigabytes of ram this thing runs just like my galaxy s23 ultra does crazy performance on here has been fantastic no issues with stuttering or heating up it does get warm from time to time 
but it will not limit the device. It will still continue to work and it will not crap out on you whenever this device gets warm. Google, this device will not crap out on you. So performance on here, fantastic. Definitely have not been let down by that. Battery on the Z Flip 5 has been fantastic. Way better than I imagined it would be despite only having a 3700 milliamp hour battery. You do get 25 watt wire charging, 15 watt wireless charging, and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging, which means you could charge some devices on the back. And I've managed to get a full day of usage out of this. This is just my usage. So it may vary between people on what you do on your smartphone. But for me, 8.30 in the morning, all the way up to about 10.30, 11 o'clock at night, I ended the day with about 24% battery life. And that is good in my book. It got me through a day and I'm very surprised with the battery life on here. That coupled with the new Snapdragon chipset, very efficient chipset, and I'm very glad that uh, everything's running on here despite having a smaller battery. This battery is tiny compared to other you know, phones that have 5,000 milliamp hour batteries. Some of those don't even get me through a whole day, and this one actually definitely impressed me. Speakers on here, you know, no surprise, they sound really good. You get Dolby Atmos on here and uh, speaker quality is actually really good uh, bluetooth quality is good too no disconnections or anything no surprise there when it comes down to speakers and last lastly the price so pre-orders are about to pretty much end soon when it comes down to the folds and the flips and uh, if you're able to pre-order this it's a fantastic deal samsung really wants to get you you know a flip phone they want you to get one and to try it out and the fact that they're giving you all of these incentives like 30 percent off samsung care it's like seven dollars a month so if your screen craps out on you samsung's going to help you out with that if you want to have your screen protector replaced it's free the first time 19 bucks after that so samsung is trying to give you some comfort if you've been weary or on the fence about folding you know folding devices and their durability Samsung is letting you know that, hey, we're giving you Samsung Care at 30% off. That way, if anything does happen to your phone, we got you, okay? So that is fantastic. Trade-in deals have been really good. If you have a Z Flip 4 from last year, you're able to get $900 off. So you pretty much get one of these for $100 or less. And this phone right here, I traded in my Pixel 7 Pro. Here it is right here. And got $600 for this so I pretty much only paid $400 for a Z Flip 5 and in my book that is a fantastic deal uh, this phone has just been plagued with problems been great but it's time to let you go Pixel so deals on here fantastic Samsung really wants to get a fold or flip into your hand this year and hey it worked this is my first time having a fold or a flip and I'm definitely happy with it. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It looks beautiful. It feels nice in the hand. It just feels like a work of art. Like this thing has some heft to it and it feels solid. Like it's very nice and compact and I'm definitely glad I picked one up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first impressions of the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Stay tuned to the channel for more comparisons. I will be comparing this guy, you know, to other devices like the S23 Ultra the LG V60 and other things like that, doing camera comparisons and things like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I will see you next time here on Sick Air Tech. Peace.